Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We continue with our series in the month of Ramadan. And Jarir radiallahu an, on the authority of Jarir radiallahu an, he reports that Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Shahru Ramadan mu'allakum bayna as-sama wal ard, wa la yurfa'u illa bi zakat al-fitr. Abu Hafs ibn Shaheen fi fadail Ramadan wa qal, hadithun gharibun jayyud al-isnad. So in this hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is saying that the month of Ramadan, rather, specifically the fasts of the month of Ramadan, they are suspended between the heavens and the earth. And وَلَا يُرْفَعُ إِلَّا بِزَكَاتِ الْفِطْرِ They are not taken to the court of Allah except by discharging our obligation of zakat al-fitr. So this is something that we need to keep in mind. If we have not discharged our obligation of zakat al-fitr, this is the, t the time to do exactly that. And this is an obligation which the Prophet ﷺ prescribed. If we give zakat al-fitr after the Eid Salah, then it is just a charity. So, majority of the scholars, they are of the opinion that Imam Khattabi radiallahu he says, Farada Rasulullah sallam zakat al-fitr. The Prophet ﷺ prescribed zakat al-fitr. Fihi bayanun anna sadaqat al-fitr fardun wajibun. Here the Prophet ﷺ, Imam Khattabi radiallahu he was a uh, third century scholar, muhaddith, faqih. Uh, he would say that in this hadith, there is clear instruction that uh, sadaqat al-fitr, this is fard, this is obligatory, wajib, this is obligatory. So fard, wajib, it's used interchangeably, but in this context, it's ta'keed. It's, in this context, there is emphasis that it is something that's emphasized. So we should make effort in making sure that the obligation of zakat al-fitr is discharged. Otherwise, our fast will not reach the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakum khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.